Namaste. Welcome to day six of our tutorial videos for Armed with Power, the Yogi's on Fire Instagram challenge that we are presently hosting. Today we're going to be looking at Ashtavakrasana, which demands flexibility, strength of the arms, and some mad core strength as well. So what I'm going to focus on today, since we have focused on flexibility in previous videos, you can go back and watch those and, and get uh, postures which will assist you in the flexibility component of it. Today we're really going to focus predominantly on floor-based core exercises and the core really includes pelvic floor, low abdomen, and low back as well as of course the, the rest of the abdominal muscles but I, I indicate the ones that need to be stable the most first. So we'll work on that, we'll start from the ground, move into Ashtavakrasana from the ground up and then I'm going to fuse yesterday's tutorial or our previous tutorial with this one where we're going to actually move from Ekapada Kondanyasana, which is our flying stage posture number two variation, into Ashtavakrasana. So we'll be using gravity as a guide or an aid uh, in this case. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Just come to your mat lying on your back, which will never happen in a Dorja yoga class typically, but today we're going to do it to save on time. So we'll start on our back. And once in the back, let's bend the knees, drawing the thighs toward the torso. And bring your hands to your thighs. Keep your knees bent 90 degrees. And I want you to press your thighs into your hands and your hands into your thighs with a deep exhale. What you feel engaging there is your TBA, your transverse abdominus, which goes horizontal on the low abdomen. It's very, it is debatably the deepest abdominal muscle. Now relax if you haven't already. So let's do that again. Exhale. Inhale, relax. Four more, exhale, inhale, relax, three, make sure you're also drawing the low back to the floor, two, one more, and relax. Take those legs up straight, flex the toes. Now make sure that your legs don't swing closer to you from where they are right now with your hands on your thighs. We're going to take the hands by our hips now, press into your palms and the backs of the arms on your next exhale, just let your buttocks lift vertically. Exhale up, inhale down. Exhale, inhale down. It's not a big movement. Exhale, inhale down. Four more. Inhale, three. Inhale, two. Inhale, last one. Inhale. Now, if you can do this next exercise with bent knees or straight, bent knees will protect the low back a little bit more. Arms will be by our sides. Keep your low back flat, feel that right now, and on your next inhale, let's lower the legs as close to the ground as you can without the low back lifting. Then exhale, lift. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift. Four more. Exhale, lift. Three. Exhale, lift. Two. Exhale, lift. Last one. Exhale, lift. Now just bend your knees. Let's hold them in the thighs. We're going to rock all the way up to that A comfortable seat. So once we come to a comfortable upright seat, let's kick our legs straight out in front of us. We'll bend our right knee, foot inside the thigh. We'll work on Janusharshasana as a preparatory flexibility posture for Ashtavakrasana. So let's inhale those arms up. Exhale, hinge forward. Your left knee can be as bent as you need it to be. Let's catch a hold of whatever we can, our calf, our ankle, or the ball of the foot. But let's pull our chin or forehead, not necessarily to the knee or shin, but inside the calf. And we'll take a few breaths here, but I'm not going to hold as long as you personally might need. So that would be a good opportunity, or this would be a good opportunity for you to pause the video if you feel like you just need a little bit more time. And when you're done, you can inhale those arms up. We'll exhale the hands down. We're just going to switch the legs. So kick the right leg straight, bend the left knee, foot inside the thigh. Inhale the arms up. And then exhale, hinge forward. Just like before, grab whatever you can. Your calf, your ankle, the ball of the foot. Pull your chin or forehead, not to the knee or shin, but to the ground just inside the calf, if it comes anywhere close. And again, we'll take a few breaths here, but if you need more time, here's that opportunity again. Pause the video, take more time. We'll inhale those arms up, and then we'll exhale both hands down, both legs straight out in front of us, and we're going to work on the Shvakrasana from the floor first. So let's go ahead, bend our right knee, and let it just drop off to the side. 
bend your left knee up, and we're going to catch hold of the ball of the foot, kick the foot into the hand as straight as you can. There can always be a little bit of a bend. Then we're going to hold our left heel with our right hand, and we're going to bend this left knee into the armpit. We'll take this left arm from the inside of the leg to the back side of the leg, pressing your hand into the ankle or calf, and nudge that knee back over the shoulder. Keep your left buttock down. I know there's the temptation to let it lift. Then left hand down, right hand down, and your left knee can be bent, but I need you to feel the thigh hugging against the torso and your thigh also pushing to the back of that left arm. Bring your right foot on top of your left. All right, now both hands are by your side. Make sure they're not too wide. Let's just lean into the hands, exhale, lift the buttocks. Inhale, relax. Let's do that again, exhale, lean into the hands, lift the buttocks. Inhale, relax. Now here's where it gets tough. Lean into the hands, lift the buttocks. Now squeeze your knees together. You can start with the arms straight. That's a little bit easier. But then try to bend the elbows alongside the torso. That gets a little more challenging. And then you can always go between straight and bend. Straight and bend. And then have a seat. Let that go. Give the leg a little bit of a kick. Shake out the wrists. We're going to do the other side, and then we'll work on it from up, moving to the ground. So let's bend our left knee off to the side, bend the right knee up, catch the ball of the foot, kick the foot into the hand. Get the leg as straight as you can, but as you saw, a straight leg is not necessarily what we're going for here. Not for this posture, anyway. Hold the heel with your left hand, bend the right knee into the right armpit, right arm underneath the right leg. Press that knee back as far as you can. The higher you can get on the shoulder, the better, but you can still do this even if it's just above the elbow. Now both hands flat, just make sure they're not too wide. Hug that thigh in, left foot on top of right. Let's just focus on lifting the buttocks, so lean into the hands, exhale, lift buttocks. Inhale down, repeat, exhale. Inhale down, here's the fun part. Exhale, lean, squeeze those legs together. You can start with the arms straight, then maybe bend the elbows. Maybe go between straight and bend the elbows. Straight, bend the elbows. Now release and let it go. Again, kick those legs out, shake out the wrists. So some really important factors there. You heard it, squeeze the thigh against the side of the body. And then you have to think of pushing it forward as well. Now let's go ahead and bend the knees, cross the ankles, come into a downward facing dog position. We'll lift this right leg into the air. Bring the right knee to the outside of the right triceps as high up as you can. Inhale up. Again, exhale. Inhale up. Last time, exhale. Inhale up. Now step that right foot between the, or, I'm sorry, to the outside of your right hand. We'll drop this left knee down, just straighten and bend the right leg a few times. And now take this right arm, and we're going to bring it under the right leg, pressing the hand against the ankle or the calf, and then to the shoulder beneath the knee. It helps to relax the neck when you're doing this. Right hand flat, left hand flat, lift your left knee. Now keep those arms as straight as you can because that's gonna help you to have clearance for this left leg to come between the hands and we're gonna find ourselves on our buttocks. So kick that right leg as straight as possible. Lean forward, lift that left leg, and then float it through the hands. <laughs> All right, now, if you can get that, if you can get that, the next trick would be before your buttocks lands, you would actually bring that left foot on top of the right. So since we're here, just push this right leg back. It's already over the shoulder. Left foot on top of right foot. And let's repeat, lean into the hands, kick those legs straight. Bend the elbows alongside the body. Push up, release it. <laughs> now, of course, you can also take that back. So if you're watching this, you already know how to do that. Better that you keep the right leg over your arm, float it back. But I won't put that in this tutorial, not to overwhelm it. Let's go ahead, cross the ankles the awkward way, rock over the ankles, let's just do the other side, and we'll close out this little sequence. Left leg up with an inhale, left knee to the outside of left triceps, inhale up, two more, exhale, inhale up, last time, 
Inhale up. Left foot to the outside of the left hand. Drop your right knee. Let's straighten and bend that left leg a few times. Now hold the bend. Now we're going to take this left arm beneath the left leg. Relax your neck. Hand to the ankle or calf. Nudge the shoulder beneath the knee. Both hands flat. Lift your right knee. Keep that left leg as straight as possible. Remember to keep those arms as straight as possible as you lean forward. Lift the right leg. And then slide it or drag it through the arms. And as before, the ideal would be to not let that, the buttock hit the ground, the buttocks, but rather to bring this right foot onto the left foot and then lean into the hands, squeeze the legs together, bend those elbows alongside the body, and then let it go. Let it go. All right, that was a whirlwind but you, you felt what needed to happen. There needs to be this lower abdominal engagement, which we worked on at the beginning of the sequence. There needs to be some flexibility, most certainly, but not as much as some of our previous asana. So it is accessible. You just have to be patient, put forth effort, and believe me, it'll happen. All right, thank you very much. Remember to subscribe to this channel to get notifications for all of our future tutorials, as well as full-length classes. Follow us on Instagram with armedwithpower our hashtag for this particular challenge. Namaste.